What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with a, another new Omni reprint from Marble uh, kicking off for the last week of January. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely coming in strong. It's something that people have been wanting to collect for a while. I remember when they showed up in the whatnot, it was always not a print item. And now we finally get it. We got the second one, I believe, last year or sometime, maybe like two years ago. But we're getting number one again. We are looking at the Spider-Man Clone Saga Omnibus Volume 1. Uh, we finally got it here, as you can see. And, uh, you know, it looks great. If you've been a Spider-Man fan, then, uh, you know, you've, you've, you have your opinion on the Clone Saga. People like it. Some people don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. Some people do. Uh, but, you know, let me know what you think, where you stand on this one. But first, let me show you the book. So this is the standard right here. Here is the front the spine and the back very nice this one's sealed since so we didn't uh, not that we didn't get a lot just a lot of orders came in so we have to send these out and this is the DM here is the front spine and the back very cool uh, I personally uh, well you know Bagley drew this one so I kind of like that he's kind of my Spider-Man go-to because of the fact that, uh, you know, he did the uh, Ultimate Universe Spider-Man. So that's kind of my, I have a prejudice, I have a bias. So that's my pick for this one, uh, the standard. The DM is cool as well, though. Let me show you the spines on both of those. Here it is. You can see 1,240 pages, so it's a pretty nice size. Uh, not the biggest we've seen, obviously, but pretty good. Pretty good. Definitely bigger than some of the ones that we've gotten, like uh, Judgment Day or like Devil's Rain. There you go. Let me show you underneath so you can see. Oh, it's a nice spread. Look at this. Ooh, yeah. You get both our boys here, Ben and Park and Peter, you know, chilling, maybe going at each other, maybe thinking about fighting each other. You know, who never, who knows? Yeah. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this clone saga and see what's inside. Guys, let's go ahead and jump into the clone saga and see if we don't get cloned ourselves. Oh, and as you can see, semi-gloss. Uh, let me actually show everybody who's in it. Here we go. All the contributors to it. Very cool. And it just kind of jumps straight in. There's not like a page count or anything like that. This one does have 1,240 pages, like I said. Uh, and semi-gloss pages feels good. Thinness is quality standard that you're used to. And, uh, you know, it looks pretty good, colorful, uh, you know, page number down here, white border on some of the pages, not on all of them. Um, but yeah, you know, the Clone Saga people, I've heard people like it, others say it's probably the worst of the Spider-Man arcs. You know, you let me know what you think, for real, like, just, just tell me what you think, tell me your honest opinion on it. Uh, and let me tell you a little bit about this as we go through it. Who is the real Spider-Man? Years ago, Peter Parker fought a clone of himself, created by the Jackal. The clone seemingly perished in the battle and has been believed dead ever since. Until now. When Peter once again comes face to face with his own image, his world will be shattered like never before. Meet Ben Riley. He has Peter's memories and feelings and has been living in exile away from New York. Now, with May Parker at death's door, he has returned. Uh, meanwhile, Peter, bitter at recent events, including May's illness and a devastating encounter with the fake versions of his dead parents, has turned his back on his civilian life. The mysterious and powerful villain, the Traveler, chooses this moment to strike, capturing Spider-Man and offering Ben a choice. Let Peter perish and assume the life he's always dreamed of, or save the one man whose death would set Ben free. When Ben passes this test of power and responsibility, a new hero is born, the sensational Scarlet Spider. But he, as he makes a name for himself battling foes like Venom and the Grim Hunter, Peter continues his descent into darkness, becoming more spider than man. Can he fight his way back from the edge? Life gets more complicated as the Jackal's game of smoke and mirrors resume, adding yet more clones into the mix, while a killer named Kane leaves his mark on victims, including Dr. Octopus. 
Tragedy strikes, strikes the Peter family. Mary Jane drops a bombshell and a new Green Goblin takes to the skies as the web of life and death becomes even more tangled. But as the plot thickens and lies are heaped upon deception, Spider-Man and Scarlet Spider are tortured by doubt. Which of them is the one true Peter Parker? The saga that changed Spidey forever begins here. There you go. So, like I said, uh, I've heard people say that this is probably one of the worst arcs for Spider-Man. Others, you know, think it was good. I mean, we got some pretty lasting characters from it that, uh, you know, are felt even now. They've shown up in the uh, into the, the Spider-Verse omnibuses and storylines. So, very much uh, pretty impactful story, I would say. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, or even the one, uh, what is it, Dark Web? Is I know that was also very much a uh, Ben Riley uh, Spider-Man story. So let me know what you think. Let me know what uh, your thoughts are on it. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I always like Ben Riley's suit, the Scarlet Spider suit, that one. It's just so different, you know? Uh, okay, let's see. Um, let's take a look at some of the extras in the book. I already showed you a lot of the what's in it. Here we go. Uh, okay. Yes, so right here is where the extras start. There you go. This is from the collector's preview. Oh, very cool. The clo Clothing the clones, okay. So there you go. The different iterations of the uh, clones costumes. There you go. Some of the information. Oh, look. Mark Bagley. Very cool. The Obsession Nation of Judas. Traveler's Evil. Okay. Oh, okay. Very cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Countdown to 400. How old was I during this? Ooh. So, like, an, a bio of each of the uh, contributors to this. <coughs> oh, bless me. <coughs> oh, oh, all right. Very cool. I'm really, I'm really glad that they included all this extra stuff from like the, the collector's preview and like bios on the characters, so that way you can, you know, get to know them before, or if you saw them and you're like, what's going on? You want to see it? There you go. That's a really nice cover. Dang, that would be cool. Here we go. Some of the pinup galleries. Nice. The juggernaut. I'm the juggernaut. Very cool. Pinup gallery. I'm missing one. These pages are a little sticky. It's a brand new book. See it? Oof. Oof. Okay. Very nice. Ah, the holographic disc. Wow. Very cool. There you go. All right. And that is it. Pretty cool. So there you go, guys. That is the Clone Saga Volume 1 uh, reprint first look from Organic Press Books. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to get it or if you're missing this book. Uh, check it out at Organic Press Books, and I will see you in the next one.